as you start with the cafe, it's all about taking a little bit of a step back at the end of the third beat and then pushing back in on the fourth beat so that you are in time, right? So remember, you have some freedom here because you're not playing with your flute player, but you are going to you are going to be more in time once you know he or she comes in. Actually, it's a she comes in. So the beginning. Back on. Notice that I'm in second position there. This is the measure six, right? One, three. On the second string as well, seventh position. That's an A minor formation right there, so it makes it very easy there. You don't even have to do a hitch. Very important, stay there with that four. Pull it in, tuck it in. All right, you got your B on the fourth string, ninth fret, right? Very important to keep that F natural, right? Take a look. Then you bring your hand around that, right? Very slowly. And I lost my spot, sorry. sense of timing. And that's where she comes in, right? So as you do this, one, So I, I was playing the, the flute part, but there, same thing as before, depends on how good your flute player is, right? So here you might decide that you want to play it more on time. This is measure 18. I just find that cross string very beautiful. Although I should be doing... I don't know. This, this sounds prettier to me. Yeah, no bars. 
So one, three, two. So I'm looking at measure 24, right? Four, then tuck in. Right, makes it easier, right? So should I keep those guys there? And here I change things a bit. It says to do this. somehow I, I I think that the open string helps her a lot so that whole part second page and that's how far I want you to go for next time.